Did the Air Force just reveal its new stealth fighter in a recruiting commercial? On Friday, Air Force Chief of Staff General David Elvin posted a new Air Force recruiting ad on Twitter, or X, or whatever you want to call it, that includes a brief clip of an unusual new stealth fighter taxiing on a dark runway, giving us what might be the world's first glimpse of one of the technology demonstrators involved in the development of America's next stealth fighter that we now know is called the F-47. Now, the exotic aircraft we see in the ad is only on screen for about a second, but in that time, we still see it from two different angles. One from directly in front of the aircraft as it turns toward the camera, and another from slightly above it. Now, it's worth noting that the aircraft depicted does appear to be taxiing under its own power. Now, the footage is pretty dark, but when you brighten it up in Photoshop, we get a pretty good look at what certainly appears to be a new stealth fighter design, though lacking in some of the characteristics that we've come to expect of Boeing's F-47. But more on that in a minute. The clip from Head On is a lot blurrier, so brightening it up doesn't really offer much in the way of detail. But with no existing images or video of the technology demonstrators involved in this NGAD program, it still warrants at least some attention. Now, the NGAD program, which is short for Next Generation Air Dominance, emerged after a classified 2014 study into the technologies required to maintain America's air superiority edge in the decades to come, which was followed by a classified billion-dollar X-plane program that saw involvement from the U.S. Air Force, the U.S. Navy, DARPA, and all three of America's prime fighter contractors, Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. Now, Northrop Grumman bowed out of this competition in 2023, leaving it down to Lockheed Martin and Boeing, with Boeing ultimately securing the contract this last month. DARPA has since revealed that there were two technology demonstrators produced for the NGAD program. One was flying in 2019 and had already reportedly set some kind of classified performance records by 2020. The second made its maiden flight in 2022. And according to DARPA, both of these platforms recorded hundreds of flight hours throughout their testing regimes. Now, it is important to remember that technology demonstrators are not necessarily reflective of the aircraft's final design and are really only meant to demonstrate the feasibility of systems and design elements that might ultimately find their way into that production design. Boeing, it's been reported, aims to have their first pre-production prototypes for flight testing prior to the end of the current presidential term, or within the next three years or so. The aircraft shown in this recruiting ad doesn't seem to have the canards that are seemingly apparent in Boeing's F-47 renders that have been released thus far. But again, importantly, that doesn't mean it isn't Boeing's design. But this demonstrator could be the one produced by Lockheed Martin, and as such, wouldn't be expected to share much in common with that F-47 design that will ultimately make its way into production. In either case, the inclusion of standing vertical tail surfaces is also something of a surprise, as most of the renders we've seen from both Boeing and Lockheed Martin related to this effort have left those standing vertical tails out for the sake of improved all-aspect stealth. Instead, this fighter seems to have canted tails similar to Northrop's fan-favorite YF-23, or more contemporarily, renders and mock-ups that we've already seen for Europe's in-development Tempest fighter. And of course, we should always recognize the possibility that this unusual and exotic-looking aircraft may be nothing more than a 3D render whipped up for the sake of a really engaging new commercial. But this is not the first time we may have gotten a glimpse of a classified aircraft in promotional material released by the U.S. Air Force. In 2021, the Air Force's Profession of Arms Center for Excellence released a promotional video that include a render of a secret of intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance, or ISR aircraft, that the public knows only as the RQ-180, as well as what appears to be a very brief glimpse of a single-engine technology demonstrator related to Lockheed Martin's long-rumored SR-72 program. So, is this our first glimpse of America's new stealth fighter? Well, it's tough to say, but it certainly could be, or at least it could be a technology demonstrator directly involved in its development.